Chinese grandfather. I already missed my parents. I wished they were coming on harvest with us instead of our grandparents. Obatan was so much more strict than my mother or father. She told us what to eat and drink and how to live. In Japan, her family had a plum tree in their backyard. She, I'm sorry, she was convinced of the healing power of umeboshi, Japanese salty plums. They're difficult to eat because they're so sour, but she ate them like candy, spitting the seeds expertly into a bowl. Spitting seeds like that would have gotten me quite a scolding, but she didn't have to use her manners anymore because she was so old. Anyway, I was required to eat two plums a day, and I had to wear rubber gloves whenever I did the dishes. Even at Obatan's age, she had beautiful hands. She often held them in front of herself to admire. The gloves made my hands sweaty, but if she caught me with no gloves, she would say, even if I ugly fish for face, someone marry me for my hand. But you had an arranged marriage, I once pointed out. <laughs> no talk back or I drown you. <laughs> the night before we left for harvest, my brother Jazz was really excited as we lay in bed. He had the bunk above mine. He was hoping he would make a friend this season. Wouldn't it be great if I make two friends, he said. That would be cool, I answered. What if I make three? I've never had three friends at the same time before. Actually, he'd never had two friends at the same time either. <coughs> One good thing about going on harvest for a few months is that there were always other kids around who belonged to drivers, custom harvesters, or farmers. I had made friends I became pen pals with, and even Jazz had made a friend one year, a boy as focused and intense as he was. I was surprised that there could be two such boys in the world. There were probably others as well. I wished they could all meet one another and form a club called the Intense Boys Association. Jazz became quiet then, but I knew he wasn't asleep. He was thinking about these three imaginary friends. I hoped he did make three, I really did. But thinking about it made me get a small pain in my stomach, because what was more likely to happen is that he would end up alone a lot, talking to himself, playing with plastic soldiers, building with Legos, and watching movies. If you bothered him while he was playing with his soldiers, he might fly into a rage. You had to wait until he was taking a break. The hall light went on, and Jitan came into the bedroom. He pulled up the chair from my desk. Tonight I tell you story of a weed, he said. One day when I boy, I pulling weed in orange grove. Day hot, many weed back hurt. Bad day. Weed come all over the night before. Suddenly, more weed than I ever see. Weed, my special enemy. I hate it more than anything. I have many nightmare about weed. But that day I find special weed I never see before. My mother scolded me, but I take weed root carefully out and I leave field and put my special weed in jar of water. Then after work, I plant it in wet soil. Every day I take care of that weed. It grow as tall as me, and that year we have best tasting orange crop ever. We raise price because everyone want our orange. So I want you to remember, always keep eye open for special weed. You both special weed. Oh yes, Sumi. Oh yes, Sumi, the side, Jitan, we said. <laughs>